Hello Tankers, we're back with a new episode of Developer's Diary and today we'll be telling you more about our future development plans and sharing with you some visuals from the new map, West Prime. Last week there were a number of issues with the game's accessibility. The servers even went down for a whole day last Sunday. Don't worry though, the issue and cause have been identified. We thank you for your patience. There are still a few annoying bugs in the game, such as black screens and frozen loading screens. Of course, we are aware of these issues and are working on fixing them. Last week, we added a long-awaited update that introduced the Rank Up effect. From now on, every Rank Up will be accompanied by a beautiful animation, making the moment a cooler experience. Additionally, yesterday we implemented the nickname change system. From now on, you'll be able to change your nickname in the profile menu in exchange for X crystals. You can find more details in the description below this video. Now, some announcements. Tanky X development plans are constantly being updated in every area, be it graphics, social or gameplay. In mid-September, we conducted a survey with the intention of familiarizing our players with upcoming game updates and adjusting our plans in accordance with their opinions and wishes. The update our tankers were most excited about was the one regarding daily missions. Of course, that's because such content increases interest and excitement. Additionally, it's a very reliable source of crystals and supplies. There are gonna be three available quests for every tanker. Two of them will reset daily, while the third one will reset once a week. This third mission will be harder to complete, but completing it will be a lot more rewarding. Another update our tankers were excited about was the one featuring modules. Modules are devices attached to the hull that give it new and unique abilities. Adding modules to same class hulls, such as Hornet and Wasp, will differentiate them even more. We also have plans for customization features. Soon we'll be adding graffiti. These are stylized images available to any player and can be painted on walls, buildings and other static objects or surfaces on the map. At first, we'll only have one graffiti available, the Tanky X logo. Eventually, we'll be adding more to the catalog. The new graffiti will be available for purchase for both Blue and X crystals and will also be awarded upon equipment upgrade. But there are many more updates to be expected in the near future. Very soon, players will start receiving rank up rewards. We'll be introducing a repair kit animation, more in game chats, and even a crosshair, which has been a constant request from the very beginning of the closed beta testing. In our last episode, we teased you with some details about a new map, designed as a reward for the closed beta quest that our CB testers deserve fair and square. As we've already mentioned, West Prime is a geometric copy of the Barda map from Tanky Online. However, the similarity is hardly noticeable. The map has an industrial look and was designed using the new graphical elements and gameplay tricks. The action on West Prime takes place in a dark, closed production space and the only light source comes from two vents up top. The map features Tesla generators that produce electrical discharges. Another cool feature is underneath the bridge. It is a kill zone with rotating shafts that will instantly destroy any tank. The highlight of the map is the glass floor with a huge drill in the middle of the map. The map is already fully designed, with only some lighting adjustments left to be done. The next steps will be map optimization for a stable performance on lower spec computers, marking the bases, setting respawn points and zone drops and finally implementing it into the live client. That will be all for this episode. Follow the news on our social media channels and of course don't miss the next episode of our developer's diary. See you soon!